Okay guys, it's time to make something to boil down our maple syrup. Uh, when you boil down maple sap, it's a 40 to 1 ratio. So every 40 gallons of sap you have, you only get one gallon of syrup. If you do that with propane, uh, it's going to take a lot of propane. And if you do it in your house, there's going to be um, residue all over your walls. It's not a good idea. So what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to make a wood-fired uh, sap boiler. It's going to be made out of a 45 gallon drum. We're going to put something together quickly. You can tag along and see exactly how to make a maple sap boiler uh, cheap and it'll save you a ton of effort and a ton of time. So the first thing you need is a 45 gallon drum. This drum is going to be turned on its side and we're going to cut a, uh, a door in one end of it uh, to feed our firewood. Uh, and in the top we're going to cut a circle for our pot to sit in. Uh, we're actually going to use this pot right here. Uh, we have some other pots as well, but we're going to measure them out. Uh, that pot is pretty good. It's an old pot that we don't care about anymore. We're going to have that set into the side of the barrel, and we're going to put a stove pipe in the end of it. Stove pipe's right here, and we're going to have a wood-fired maple sap boiler. We've got a ton of wood here. We're going to use some firewood, and uh, it's going to be an opportunity to sit back and relax while our maple sap boils, and it won't cost us a fortune, and it'll be easy. So I decided to use the, uh, this is going to be the end of the barrel when it's turned on its side. I decided to use this side for the firewood for the door um, because I can use these bungs as vents, air vents, and we're going to want a lot of oxygen in this thing, which won't be an issue because none of the cuts will be perfect anyway, so there will be lots of air getting in around the seams, uh, but you're going to want lots of, lots of oxygen so your fire can burn super hot and you can boil down a lot of sap in a short time. So I've traced out where the door is going to be, uh, just using the grinder quickly. And uh, I'm not much of a safety sally, but there's definitely a safety moment here. Um, make sure to either not do this with a drum that's had gasoline in it, or if you do have gasoline in it, make sure it's, extremely, it's cleaned out extremely well. Um, if you have a drum that's filled full of gasoline and you're using an angle grinder to cut, you could have an explosion. It's not what I want uh, to happen. So in this case, this one was used for injection oil. Uh, I'm not concerned really about explosions. I do have the bung removed uh, and it has been rinsed out too, so we're good to go. So this has quickly turned into a lesson of do not throw things out. I got a bunch of bolts here. I picked out some self-tapping screws. Uh, I'm also going to hit up my hooks and handles box up here. That's got a ton of hinges in it and we're going to make a proper door. Okay, I got my door mostly cut out. I cut it out on three sides, installed my hinges with self-tapping screws. Got my hinges on, now I'm going to finish cutting out the door. I'll have to make a small latch on this side, and then I can go ahead and start cutting the top and putting in my stove pipe. Along with my never throw anything out theme, I just rode it through my bolt box and found a couple little pieces of steel, and I'm going to fashion up a latch. I got the hole cut for the first pot. You can see it sits in the barrel and just rests on its handles. I'm actually going to cut a second hole behind that one now for a second pot, so I'll have a double boiling system. And uh, you can see around the front here I have my door. And on the back side here, I have to cut another hole, um, put my stove pipe in. And then all I have to do is set it on some bricks and start boiling. Ladies and gentlemen, I present on to you <laughs> the finished sap boiler. So you can see it's complete with a door and a latch. Uh, the bong in the bottom is going to be for the vent. Then on the top we have two pots set in. I think I might actually need to reverse the order of these pots um, because I'm thinking that it may affect the smoke, but we'll see. And uh, you can see on the back I have you can see on the back I have a hole drilled and an elbow stuck in through and a couple lengths of stove pipe. So it's just a matter of starting it up and trying it out. Well, I got a fire lit in it now to burn some of the old oil and paint off it. And uh, that's just water in there, that's not sap. So we'll get it burnt off and then we'll uh, get the sap going later.